hello there, welcome back. I'm going to do another ranting and painting session. Not sure exactly what I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm just I'm just going to paint a little bit, try to clear my mind. I've been working on my finishing my intercessors and I think I'm get, uh, going, doing good progress. Just down to four more. I'm going to base coat the backpacks in deep blue from AK Interactive. If I was ever going to do a ultramarine army, I think this will be the base coat for for the set army. But uh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, the video that I placed uh, yesterday regarding the previous rant uh, yeah, it took a little bit too long happy with the video anyways but um, yeah there are a lot of things that have been going on in the gaming and hobby settings or environment and ideally as I said most of these videos I want them to be able to be watched by my son at some point in life um, and my daughter uh, because I now will have a daughter soon um, yeah and well I've been always been a, a, a kind of attracted to this kind of stuff, to of video games, um, hobbies, or I, this is the first time that I'm starting to paint. Uh, this is a, an expensive hobby, um, and I was I, I grew up poor, so I was not able to purchase any of this when back in the '90s, where uh, when I was first aware of, of the at least of Warhammer but there's always been I, I think my father uh, at some point he wanted me to to paint some aviation model, models and uh, get them glued together it, it never catched up uh, catched on with me when I was younger um, looking back maybe I'll, I should have Giving it a thought, but yeah, um, well, I'm doing it, and I hope that uh, either of you uh, uh, take into this. Um, thinking it will be more you, my son, but I don't know. Who knows? Only time will tell. Um, only time will tell. Anyways, if any of you wants to take into this hobby, I would be more than happy to, to oblige. Um, as I said previously, I don't want any of you to be a copy of me or anything like that. I want you to enjoy your own decisions and, and enjoy whatever it is you really like. Um, okay, after the base coat on this, it is already uh, set. I'm going to. I'm going to paint it with the. Uh, um, with a express paint from Vallejo, called um, Black Lotus. Excuse me while I adjust the light just over here because the, the battery of, of this thing seems to be going down. Okay, anyways. Um, this way, and I usually don't remove any of the, of the paint, this way it creates a kind of a shade or a glow, blue glow underneath the black. And uh, I, I like that effect on these guys. This is going to take more than than one coat. Uh, 
last time I did like three or four uh, codes for each of the for each of the space marines that I'm painting. Anyways, what what was I saying? Oh yeah, want you to explore and, and enjoy whatever it is you want to uh, enjoy. Uh, if it is something that I'm doing, and I'm, I, then I'm about be more than happy to to introduce you into this. I like role playing games too, which is another <laughs> aspect of of life. Uh, you know. Being a, a kind of a nerd or a geek in this in this 20, 2020s, it's kind of a being bombarded by completely stupid fucking idiots. <laughs> um, they just try to uh, uh, invade the hobby, whichever it is, and. They try to change it to whatever they want. They're hardly any of them have ever been a fan of the hobby. They just, for some reason in their life, they're just awful people most of the time. And they just want to destroy what other people are enjoying. Sometimes in some aspects uh, during this time, hopefully it has changed when you are when when you're seeing this or when you are young adults uh hopefully uh, fingers crossed that that has changed over that uh, at that point but yeah you get a lot of people just invading this communities or these groups or or these areas of of enjoyment and they try to change it claiming higher, higher moral standing grounds or whatever. This is people that you will find in any, any, any situation or any, any aspect of your life. And you need to be aware and know, know how to recognize them just so you can stay away from them. And most importantly, never to become one of them because they function as a cult. They want you to be part of them, uh, part of their, their groups, part of their uh, whatever it is they're, they're in, they just want you in it. They cannot tolerate that you're a person with independent thoughts. That's an anathema to them. I started playing video games when I was very young. Um, I used to have a, a very old Nintendo. I started with Atari. Uh, it was like five, six years old. I was playing Atari 2600, probably on a, a relic. <laughs> it is a relic right now, but it's going to be more of a relic when you're when you're seeing this. Probably um, played a lot of video games over there with my dad when I was young, and. Uh, my passion only grew for video games when I discovered Zelda on, on the Nintendo NES. Um, now I'm not a big fan of Zelda, at least not today. Um, I hear there are pretty good games, but I just moved on. They uh, We drifted apart, so to speak. Um, but I'm playing other video games uh, and I, I think I will ever, I will continue to do some because I'm passionate about them. I, I 